Today we're going to talk about how to update our database using SQL code and this is going to be the same code you're going to use inside your PHP code to update your database. So try to memorize this if you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select our database, which I do actually have selected here. And then we're going to go to the SQL tab up here in the menu. Inside here, we're going to go ahead and write SQL code that will actually go in and update our table called post. So right now, if you take a look at the table, you guys can see we have an ID, subject, content, and date. Now, let's say I want to change my subject from this is the subject to this is another subject instead. Now, in order to do that, we need to write a piece of SQL code. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my SQL code writing window here. And then I'm going to go ahead and write update space. And then we're going to go ahead and write the name of the table called posts. Then I'm actually going to go ahead and say enter. Now, it doesn't actually matter if you say space and then continue to write here or if you say enter. I'm only hitting enter because it looks a bit nicer when we type it in into the window. So underneath here in the next line, I'm going to go ahead and write set space. And then we need to type what we want to change inside our table called post. So right now we do actually have a subject. So I'm going to write subject. And now I'm going to set it equal to the new text that I want it to be. So I can actually say this is a test instead. Afterwards, we can either write comma and then say another one if we want to change something else as well. Let's actually go ahead and change our content. So let's actually say content equal to single quotes. And we're going to say this is the content. So now we're actually going to change the huge piece of text we have inside our content area and replace it with this small piece of text. So we can actually keep adding inside our table here, but let's just go ahead and update these two for now. So I'm going to go ahead and say next line where, and I did actually capitalize this, but it doesn't really matter if you capitalize it or not. It is a habit to actually write all these capitalized when we do actually write code. So when I say update, you know, I write a capitalized set is capitalized, where is capitalized. It's just a coding habit to do it this way. So it doesn't really matter if you guys want to do it or not. It's still going to work in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and capitalize them for now. After where we need to select where we want to update this, or at least we can, if we want to, we can actually just go ahead and delete where and just run it because it is selecting from post these things in here. But if we do this, and we do actually have many different types of posts inside our table called post. Then we're going to change every single one of the posts in there and change the subject and the content of all of them. Now, maybe we don't want that because let's say we only want to change the post of a certain user who did actually write the post. So let's actually go ahead and say where. And then we're going to say ID is equal to one. So we're only going to change the post where the ID is equal to one. So after I run this, well, let's actually go ahead and yeah, let's actually go ahead and run this. And you guys will see we get one row affected. Now, if I go down to post, you can see that we do actually have some different content in here. We have this is a test and this is the content. So now we did actually change the text in here. And that's the basic way updating works inside our database here. So now you guys can see we did actually change the content and the subject. So that's the basic way updating works. Now you can go a little bit more deep into this and it's going to get a little bit more complicated. But for now, this is all you guys need to know in order to do something with PHP code inside a database. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.